has ministry, has the body and responsibility for fashion in Liberia. We actually decided to call on all our points to get them together and go to the lead representative house to sympathize with the family. So she was one part of us. As a point, she did represent our country, uh, Liberia, and she did motivate a lot of young people in the pageantry industry. She served as a mother, as a mentor, and a big sister to most of our points. So, not just sitting and allowing her death to just go like that. We want to go to the family, sympathize with them, and even maybe allow us. Uh, my points to do a wrong way show for her during the funeral. So we are on our way to the late representative house. Okay. So that's what the family. Thank you so much. Let me just get a word from uh, uh, here, ma'am. Uh, you're Miss United Nation, Miss. Yes. Okay. You. Uh, so why is this uh, uh, particular event so important to you? It's important to us because uh, Sis Mona, Honorable Mona, served as a mentor to all of us. She has impacted our life in so many ways. Um, like we had set a great loss, and the pageantry and like we are also taking a great loss, not having her here with us because she supported us. This is somebody where we can call anytime. I can wake up in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, something is wrong, and I can call her, and she just knows how to fix it. I can say, like, for a lot of the girls that have gone international, myself, Miss Mana River, or Miss Africa First Princess, she has someone single-handedly, like, took us to those pageants and been that support system for us. So to not have her here and for us to even be going to her house to sympathize, like, I have no words for that because I'm so broken. I can see that. Thank you so much. Let me get a word. I know you guys are in the hands. Let me get a word from Miss Africa Liberia. Hi, hi. How are you? Hello. How are you? Okay. You care to tell the viewers uh, your oh, name and uh... well, um, Miss Tina Fina Yunko, first runner of Miss Africa 2019, and. Uh, First runner of Miss Liberia 2017, and we are about to go and sympathize with the family of the late Honorable Nan Pelon Young Blood, and it's so heartbreaking right now because she single-handedly did a lot for a lot of queens here today, Correct. and now seeing us going to sympathize with her family is so heartbreaking, but nevertheless, Paul is the one that does everything, so we just want to be grateful to God for that, and we miss her, and we love her so much. What was it like when you got the news that indeed she has fallen, and she's one of you? What her death news meant to you? Well, it was so heartbreaking, like I said. You know, a lot of people kept calling me that day, like, oh, we are hearing news, because I didn't really get the news. I talked to her like two days before her death. It was like, people started calling me, oh, are we seeing something on Facebook? I said, oh, yeah, because, you know, before a news came, like that, I said, no, the people just want to say something that they ain't, they ain't supposed to say. But then when Moline called me and I started receiving calls from Courage and other people, I was like really, really down. And I was downhearted, yeah, that day. Okay. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope uh, we, 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 we all be heading to that direction where you guys going to be doing uh, all your presentation. So you can see uh, your total of how many queens here today, uh, Princess? Okay, so you got uh, a little over 12 beautiful, beautiful queens. Uh, hi, you look so beautiful in that car. Okay, uh, here we are. Uh, we're now. Uh, so this convoy is now headed to. Uh, you got all these queens, see them in the uh, fleet of cars, uh, and all of them now are headed now to, to uh, uh, the fallen representative home. Uh, that's on, uh, we're going to be driving, uh, that's in Cinco, not Cinco, or uh, Elf.
Okay. Uh, so we're here now at the residence, uh, and we don't know what the protocol looks like. Uh, you have uh, all these queens seated one by one as we await uh, to see what's the next step. Uh, yeah. The Minister of uh, Tourism, Assistant Minister for Tourism. You have uh, Miss. Are you sure you're sorry? Oh, he knows all my titles. Miss United Nation and former Miss Liberia USA from Delaware County. <laughs> yeah, People's Choice. Um, Miss Mono River. Miss Pan, Miss Pan Africa Universe, yeah. and this is Miss Mambesp, Mambesp friend. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're coming. So we're now coming into the residence. Yeah, they are now coming in the residence of Madam Thelma. So yeah, they are. Okay, so we're currently. That's mom in there. This is the mother of uh, Representative Tano. We're at the home. You see that beautiful portrait of the president. And you see all the queens are all seated. Uh, there it is. Yes. 
Kaisen as Kaisen as Bokor no Mai Kawa Bikai Wai Pratisam Pona 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 Pona
Miss Tina Fina Yunko, Miss Africa first winner of 2019. Um, Javel Zanilabina, Miss Manorba in your life. Hello, Grandma. I'm Trippie Brown, Miss Pan Africa 2019. Hello, everyone. I'm Afrida Tumi, Miss Grand Battle County, Miss Lavira 2016. And the people who chose the award winner 2016. Hello, Miss Fasina Princess from Miss Earth Lapio, first runner up. Hello, Grandma. I'm Miss Tulis in Liberia, 2019-2020. Hello, Grandma. I'm Miss Marilyn H. Grisby, Miss Single Circle Princess. I'm Miss Decanti Ashley Davis, Most Beautiful Girl in Liberia, 2019-2020. Hello, Grandmother. My name is Mildred Bell. People chose her one Miss Inter High School Liberia and also best more than Miss Inter High School Liberia. Thank you. Hello, Grandma. I'm Miss Rachel Tiwe, Miss District Number 16. <laughs> Hello, Grandma. My name is Miss Ash Fraser, Miss Culture Liberia 2017, and I'm Africa 2019. Okay, that was the presentation right there. All the queens presenting themselves to the mother uh, of uh, the late representative on the Pomona panel. You see that the assistant minister of information and uh, for tourism is consulting with the mother.
Sorry though, I'm, uh, I lost my voice. Uh, I'll have to be Lorenzo Pillow. I'm gonna go back to the I'm gonna say thanks for coming. Um, uh, it is hard to say. You guys said I can remember years back. Um, when my sister went to Nigeria to partake in some pageant. I was in, in another country and she told me, look, I mean, you gotta come. And then we had to do something that I had to do, some ID card representing my baby because she had nobody at the time. It is hard to say. Standing here, seeing young, beautiful lady sitting here, and then my sister no more, no, no more around. It's not easy. I want to say thanks for coming. On the Appellum family, we appreciate people. So I can tell you thank you for everything you did for me because my career was impaired. But she's too for me because I'm somebody that I don't talk much, especially when I have my mom's friends. I sit back and watch. But then she called me one day, she was like, Tina. I thought it meant like when you came to me, you expressed yourself for me that you didn't, it didn't go down well with you. That was going on. And I felt your pain. I won't let your career go down like this. So she called me and she told me, Tina, you go, you are going to take your position. Then I went to South Africa. Imagine not knowing Luna from anywhere, but then she was always there for me after the Miss Liberia. Imagine she, she wrote a check. She sent me somewhere that I would get my outfit and everything. When I came back, she was nowhere around because when I went to the States, I said, oh, everybody, I gotta meet you so I can tell you, thank you. I carried the sash, purposely to carry the whole but then we couldn't see. So when she came back to her, I was thinking of program and this whole thing fell down. But I will come back to you, Grandma, because I plan to turn this thing over to her. So I said, although it's over to you, it's already. Time has already passed, so I say, just give me your blessing because your daughter did it for me. <laughs> Sometimes I sit in my room, I just cry so much, I don't know before anywhere. <laughs> wow. She just turned those things over to the mother, uh, you see uh, those accessories of uh, her crown and the sash. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Mora has done what she did. For 37 years, September 22nd, 37 years. All what she has done. Sometimes when I think about it, I don't want to cry. Because the people that lived, the more than her age, that have not achieved what she achieved. So I just want to bless God. Sometimes I try to find my consolations in all what she has done for me. In my own age, I have not done what my daughter has done. I just want to bless God with everything. Our queens call her mother diva. And also, some of the queens that were closer to her, Tina Jala, Kenny's, they call me grandmother diva. Courage. Courage. She sounds so female. They all call me. And this morning they told me the minister for information will be coming in with guests. I was just taking the back to see people all with the crowns and coming in with sizes. 
Still have to be careful. Okay, so I'll set the receipt of the Moroccan up here. So we're going to be making our way out here shortly. Grandma, so we can uh, make some fresh meat or 